So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages on Motic form submission. Now suppose guys using Motic, you have created some kind of form and shared with your users. Now you want that whenever a user fills the form and submit it, you want to send them a WhatsApp message. So in this video, we will see how you can automate this process of sending the message. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new form submission in Motic. An action will be sending the WhatsApp message to the same user who has submitted the form using Interact. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, we are on the dashboard of my Motic account. And here guys, in my Motic account, I have created this form. Now we want that whenever a user enters their details and fills the form and submit it, we want to send them a WhatsApp message using Interact. Now here guys, to do so, first we have to connect Motic with Interact. And to do so, we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration platform. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign-up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Motic to Interact. And then just click on Create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our Motic account with Pavli Connect so that every time we receive a new form response in Motic, the same response can be captured inside Pavli Connect. And after this, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send same details to Interact so that using Interact, we can send WhatsApp message to the user who has submitted the form, that too automatically. So let's begin guys. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Motic. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new form entry. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And we are going to use this webhook URL to connect our Motic account with Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So to add this webhook URL, you just have to go to the dashboard of your Motic account. And after reaching to the dashboard, on the right top corner, you can see the settings option. Just click on it. And under it, you can see an option named as webhooks. Click on webhooks. After coming to this webhooks page, click on this new button. And then here, you just have to give this webhook URL a name. For example, I'll name it as Pavli. Then you can ignore the description and secret. And then it asks us webhook post URL. So here in this webhook post URL section, you have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. After this, it is asking us webhook events. And here you can see a list of different events over here. So we are going to select webhook event as form submit event because we want to get the details of form submission inside Pavli Connect. And after this, just select this yes option in published and then click on apply. So as we click on apply, this webhook URL is been added on our Motic account. And then just click on save and close. So here guys, just now we have added a new webhook URL in our Motic account. So that every time we are going to receive a new form submission in Motic, here you can see that the same form submission, the same form response will be sent to Pavli Connect. And we are going to do the same. So this is the form which we have created using Motic. And we are going to make a form submission in the same form. For example, let's enter the details of a user. For example, demo user. This is the name. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number. So whatever mobile number the user is going to enter while submitting the form, on the same number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message using Interact. Just click on Submit. So just now we have received a new form submission in our Motic account. And we will see the details of this same form submission will also be received inside Pavli Connect. So let's check it. We will go to Pavli Connect. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same details are now received in this response. So here in response, you can see the same mobile number, which we have just now entered while submitting the form. You can see the same name of the user and the same email address. 
Now, this means the connection between Motic and Pavli Connect is working absolutely fine. Now, every time we are going to receive a new response or new form submission in Motic, automatically those details will be received inside Pavli Connect. Now, after setting up the trigger, what we want to do, we have to set up an action. Now, guys, to send the WhatsApp message to the same user who has submitted the form, we just have to scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Interact. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send WhatsApp template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our interact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our interact account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this secret key. So to get it, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just go to your interact account and from the left sidebar, go to this gear option of settings and click on settings. After coming to the settings page, click on developer settings. And here you can see the secret key of your interact account. Just copy the secret key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our interact account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the country code, phone number and full phone number. So here we have to enter the mobile number, the WhatsApp number of the user to whom we want to send the WhatsApp message. Now here you have two options. If you have separate response of country code and phone number, you can enter separate values in these two fields. Here you can enter the 10 digits mobile number and here you can enter the country code. But if you have a single response of full phone number like the plus sign, the country code and the 10 digits mobile number, you can enter that complete response over here in this full phone number field. So from Motic guys, we have received the response of the full phone number as you can see over here. We have the plus sign, the country code and the 10 digits mobile number. So here from Motic, this, this response of mobile number, we are going to map this same response over here in this full phone number field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from Motic responses, select the response of mobile number and the same mobile number will be mapped over here. After full phone number, the next thing it asks us is the template code name. Now to send WhatsApp messages using Interact, we have to actually enter the name, the code name of the template using which we want to send the WhatsApp message. So as you all know, we have to first create a template message in Interact and then we have to get that template approved. And it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple templates in your Interact account. So out of all of them, which template you want to use in this automation workflow, using which template you want to send a WhatsApp message to the user. You have to enter the template code name of that particular template. And to get it, you just have to go to your Interact account, go to template section and open the template which you want to use. For example, I want to use this template named as welcome message. So here guys, this is the template which I want to use. Using this template, I want to send the WhatsApp message. So after opening your template in your Interact account, here in the URL section, after template slash and before slash view, here you can see your template code name. Just copy this code name from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. After pasting the template code name, the next thing it asks us is the language code. Now here guys, in language code, we have to enter in which language we are sending this WhatsApp message. So I have created this template in English language. So I'm going to enter the language code of English. Enter EN over here. Then it is asking us header value. So here in Interact, we also have an option to add some kind of header files, like an image, a video, or a document. So if you have created some template in which you are sending some kind of header files, you have to mention the link, the URL of that header file which you want to send in this header value field. Right now in this template, I have not added any kind of header files. So that's why you can ignore this field for now. But if you want to send any kind of image, the video or document as the WhatsApp message with the WhatsApp message, you can select the header file and mention the link of the file which you want to send in this header value section. Now the next thing it asks us is body variable value. Now here in the body of our WhatsApp message in the template which we have created, here you can see that we have added some numbers in double curly braces. Here we have number one after high and here you can see number two. Now you might be thinking why I have added these numbers. What are they? So after high, I actually wanted to mention the name of the user who has submitted the form. But the name of the user will be keep on changing for every new WhatsApp message we send, every new form submission we send, 
we receive it from, from a new user and the name will be keep on changing. This means the name of the user is a dynamic text. It's a variable which will be keep on changing. And to add these kind of variables in our template message, we enter these numbers in double curly braces. And the text and the name which we want to put in place of these variables, you can enter those variable values in this body variable value field of Pavli Connect. Like here, after hi, I wanted to mention the name of the user who has submitted the form. So we will just click here. And from Motic responses, we will select the response of the first name of the user and map it over here. So whatever first name we are going to receive from Motic with the same first name, we are going to send the WhatsApp message over here after hi. Then this message says, thank you for filling up the form. Welcome to Pavli. We are so lucky to have you. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with questions. We would love to hear from you. Best regards. And here, in place of variable 2, you might have to enter or you might want to enter your name or your organization's name. So here, in place of variable 2, I want to mention the name of my organization, for example, that is Pavli. So here in body variable value, we have entered the value of first variable. Now you have to end a comma and after adding a comma, here we have to mention the value in place of variable 2. So in this way, this is the value of variable 1 and this will be the value of variable 2. If you have added multiple variables in your template message, by adding comma separated values, you can enter or mention the values of those variables as well. But you have to follow the same sequence. Like the first value which you enter, the first value over here will be for the variable 1. After a comma, the second value which you enter will be the value of variable 2. Then after adding another comma, if you enter the third value, it will be the value of variable 3. So in this sequence, you have to follow and enter the body variable values. Now after this, the next thing it asks us is position of CTA button, call to actions button. So here in interact, you can see you also have an option to add some kind of buttons, some call to action buttons like a quick reply button or some kind of links you want, you can add links as well. Right now in this template, I have not added any kind of button, but if you add some, any kind of button and if you add some kind of dynamic URL in those button, by clicking on those buttons, the user will be redirected you to a particular website or URL. You can actually select the position of that button with the WhatsApp message. And also here in the next field, you can enter the value of variable in dynamic URL. So right now, because we have not added any kind of call to action button with dynamic URL, so we can ignore these fields for now and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details which we have mapped over here, basically the same values which we have mapped over here and the template whose code name we have entered, which we have selected, a WhatsApp message has been sent to the same user whose details we have entered in the form, who has submitted the form. So let's check the WhatsApp account of that user. So let's check the WhatsApp account. We'll go to WhatsApp. And yes, here you can see that we have received a WhatsApp message. This message says, hi demo, means the same name which we have entered while submitting the form. And then this message says, thank you for filling up the form. Welcome to Pavli. We are so lucky to have you. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with questions. We would love to hear from you. Best regards, Pavli. So here you can see the value of first variable, the name of the user who has submitted the form. And here you can see the value of second variable, which we have entered over here statically in this body variable field. So this means the automation workflow, which we have created between Motic and Interact using Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we receive a new form entry in Motic, automatically using Interact, we are going to send them a WhatsApp message. So after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. Once again, we will go to the form which we have created in Motic. And here we are going to enter the details of a new user, a test user. For example, test user, this is the name. And let's enter the email address as well. This is the email address and this is the mobile number. So as I told you, so whatever mobile number the user is going to enter over here, on the same number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message. Click on Submit. So as we click on Submit, here you can see that just now we have received a new response in Motic form. And we will see within a second, instantly, a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same user on their WhatsApp number. And here you can see that within seconds, the message has been delivered. The message says, Hi test, means the name of the same user who what we have entered just now in the form and then you can see the same template message which we have created in Interact. So guys, we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. 
So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Fably Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.